Hey you, how's it going? Welcome back to another Trans Talk. This time I'm talking about those situations where you get forced back into the closet having already come out. So those of you who know me know that I came out in college year 12, but I did actually originally try to come out two years before at the end of year 10, but it went horribly. No. No. So I'll go sparingly on the details just because for me they are a little bit hazy because it was one of the worst periods of my life. I don't exactly want to remember it clearly. So there we are back in 2010. I'm in year 10 and I start to come to terms with the fact that I am not the person who I should be. I feel as though I am me. So I come out to a select group of friends, the ones who I feel are closest to me. There are a few people who really helped during the, helped me out during this period and there are a few people who I perhaps shouldn't have come out to because the rumour of me being trans started to circulate around the entire school. When I didn't even feel comfortable coming out to more than a select group of people, I didn't want to come out to everyone. I mean, I wanted to be myself in front of everyone, but I was not ready for the emotional toll it would take on me. So there was a load of overwhelming evidence in these people's favour, like, I didn't exactly act cisgender, I was overtly feminine for what was a boy at the time and there was a Facebook profile with photos of me on it though they did cut off at the neck so you couldn't really tell it you couldn't see it was me but if you knew me you knew it was me that's the I think that's where they got me yeah not the smartest move you've ever made Rubes so I couldn't take all the hassling that I was getting it was it was bullying at the end of the day and I wasn't the strongest of people mentally to deal with it so I just brushed it under the rug and carried on my daily life pretending to be a cis male. Look where that got me. I did end up coming out later as liking guys which kind of worked in my favour because it meant that people thought oh maybe he's just gay and stuff but we, but we, we all know I wasn't. But at the time, that's what everyone thought, and I went with it, because it was easier than having to deal with the fact that I was trans. I actively tried not to be trans during this period of my life, which we all know that's not a good thing. That's just that's just not a good thing. Yeah. And a few years later, I obviously come to terms with it, and voila, Ruby's on the scene, and I'm back to being the weird one. At college. So that's the big one of being forced back into the closet through partially my own choice and also majorly due to the ignorance of others. There are a few other lower scale ones, for example when a member of the family comes over who's a little bit more old-fashioned and they don't particularly understand the trans thing and I'm only just coming to terms with it myself. I still don't really look that female. I just have to grin and bear it and I'm not Ruby for the weekend that they're here, I'm the other guy. So because it directly ties in to the current situation I was describing and I always let you ask me questions when it comes to a trans talk video, Lydia would like to know how I managed to cope with my identity being squashed. The way I kind of got around it was viewing myself as being something of a method actor. Method acting is when an actor or actress has a role so for the entire time that they're shooting they don't break character so for the most recent high profile one was Jared Leto playing the Joker he was acting an absolute tool during the entire filming to try and stay in character so that's kind of I just thought of myself as you know method acting I'm not really a boy for a weekend I'm practicing for a role that I'm about to do I mean I'm not an actress but just getting around it and that's all that matters. You've just got to find ways to get through it. Another question I've had is how would I react to being misgendered whilst in a place where I might not want to come out? And this happened quite a few times during the original stage of me wanting to come out. Me, my mum and my sister and my mum's boyfriend at the time, we would go to places and people would refer to me as a girl and like Inwardly, I would be absolutely buzzing because that's what I wanted. 
but wrong time, wrong place, dude, seriously. I mean, technically, I'm not even being misgendered there because that's the gender that I was supposed to be. But yeah. Yet again, though, it is similar circumstances to the whole method acting thing for me. When it came to the later stages, when I was outwardly Ruby, for example, my 18th birthday party. We went to a restaurant, but my mum's side of the family, they were all coming. Not all of them were comfortable with me being trans at the time. I had to not be over the top Ruby. I had to be subtle Ruby. I mean, I ended up wearing a t-shirt and jeans to an 18th birthday dinner. Whilst everyone's wearing dresses or suits and stuff. I had to get it into my head for that night that this is this is actually the person I am and there has never been another version of me because otherwise I wouldn't be able to handle it. And it's sad upon reflection, but it is what I had to do in the circumstances because of the society that we live in. Like, this isn't Tumblr. People are currently allowed to question your everything about you and they will do it if they feel it goes against their beliefs. Just recently, a trans boy killed himself because a school wouldn't acknowledge him by his name because of some stupid policies that they had in place. People mocked him for killing himself over not being called his name. But people don't realise how important it is to trans individuals to be referred to as their identity. It's their identity. So yeah, that was my trans talk on being forced into situations where you have to go back into the closet. I hope you found it interesting, if not useful. And if you did, please like the video because it does help out a lot. And also share it on social media because then other people can see it and they can get the information slash enjoyment that you had. And also don't forget to subscribe. I do hope to see you next time. Adios. Bye.